My name is Christine Clapp. I'm the author of Presenting at Work, a Guide to Public Speaking in Professional Contexts, and I'm the president of Spoken with Authority, a presentation skills consultancy that's dedicated to helping professionals craft and deliver effective presentations. Today I'm answering the question, what's the fastest way to improve my presentation skills? Many times people will ask me, I'm giving a presentation this afternoon. What can I do between now and then to make it as good as it can be? It's not a cure-all. It's not a fix for every ailment, for every presentation. But the one thing that you can do if you're going on stage or you're standing up in a meeting later today and you need a quick way to do the best job that you possibly can, my recommendation for you is to remember to smile. First of all, you already know how to do it. You don't have to learn a new skill here. Just put a smile on your face. Oftentimes when we're nervous, what happens is we have this look of terror on our faces. And some audience members can read that as a look of terror or as anxiety. But most of the time, they're terrible at reading our emotions. They see that look of terror on our face and they read it as you being aloof, as disinterested, or not friendly. And those things are probably the farthest from the truth. Remember to smile, it will not make you look cheesy or silly. You don't have to have a big, huge, toothy smile, but just have, instead of having your plain resting face, just have bright eyes, raise your eyebrows a little bit, raise your cheeks a little bit, and have a bright face is what I like to say. By having that smile or that bright face, you actually will help make yourself feel better on the inside and feel less nervous. Research shows that your body releases chemicals when you're smiling that help you feel better. And that will help you feel on the inside the way that you are projecting on the outside. If you have a hard time remembering to smile during a presentation, you might do one of two strategies. One is to bring a memento to help remind you to smile every time you see it. This could be a small photo that you put on your notes. Maybe it's a post-it note with a smiley face. Maybe it's a little trinket that you picked up on foreign travel or something that a special child in your life made for you, but by keeping it on the lectern or in your pocket every time you feel it or see it, you remind yourself to smile and it can really bring forth an authentic smile when you see it or you feel it in your pocket. Another strategy you might employ is to use a cue in the room to remind you to smile. And depending on the context, you might have a different cue. If you're at a celebration, if you're giving a toast, you might use the centerpieces in the room to help remind you to smile every time you see those beautiful flowers. But if you're at a business meeting, you might use a water pitcher or a water glass to remind you to smile because they might be placed in front of every participant of that meeting. Smiling is a really great way to improve a presentation on short notice. So remember to show those pearly whites before your next speech.